So we wanted to start a, a kind of vending machine business that will go into dorms, and we've already pitched it to <laughs> Wait. teachers. <laughs> Wait, what? When I lived in dorms, I would have to travel so far to get to the vending machine. But what kind of vending machines would they be? Like, oh, what condoms. Oh, condoms. <laughs> it's a condom vending machine. You have condom vending machines in dorms. <laughs> That's a really good idea, then. Sure. Um, my name is Claire Keeney. I am a senior, and I am a history major with a dual minor in anthropology and art history. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I am currently the president of a student organization called SASI, which stands for Students Advocating Sexual Safety and Empowerment. If you had to guess, what amount of students do you think are sexually active on campus? Um, I would say a majority of Syracuse University students are probably sexually active. I would say it's percentile-wise, probably like 85 to 90%. Like 80%? I'd say over 75%. About 99%. Would y'all rather buy from a kind of machine rather than go all the way to the health center? Oh, definitely kind of machine if it's right there. <laughs> It'd be so much easier. It'd be like going to get a candy bar. <laughs> if you know about the health center and you know that they give out free condoms, maybe you'll go there. But a lot of people don't know about that resource. I don't know how that is in college when you go for free condoms, but... Oh, you never had that experience? No, I've never had that experience. No, never, yeah. Sometimes, I guess, they run out or, you know, they'll have, like, they won't have, like, ones that you would want to use. I don't feel like many people go to the health center. I forget it exists a lot of the time. If they know they can get it for free at the health center, they'll go in advance to get it at the health center. But if they needed one right away, they would go down to the counter machine and get it. So I think it's about how, how early they plan it, I guess. So. You know, 2 a.m. when people are, like, trying to get busy, I guess. Um, and if you don't have one, I think you're just going to go ahead and still do it. I mean, as long as you're using condoms, I think that's great no matter where you get them. And it's a way to, to practice safe sex. We know that a lot of people are sexually active on campus. And I think, you know, to avoid diseases and all that stuff, we need to be proactive about our choices. And so condoms at, in dorm rooms would be nice.